Uh, my name is David James, a farm under the company James Farms Limited. My great-grandfather David James settled here in 1886 and my boys would be fifth generation. We've got a long history here and um, it's, it's something that you value, uh, you know, as far as legacy sort of things and that. The difficulties I found for marketing grain uh, before I joined Ag Chief was uh, unlike U.S. producers who had had a long storied history in private grain marketing, we were under the Canadian Wheat Board. So we really didn't get strong signals on selling our uh, and marketing our grain. It was just kind of all averaged out, you took it there. And so there was not a lot of that really hands-on getting your hands dirty in the marketing that, that the U.S. guys had. We just didn't have that long history. So then some producers adapted quickly to the privatization of the grain industries. Others took longer, but those were difficult times. And, and this is much better, I have a much better read for the market. It's definitely helped me in having a better uh, feel for how that market is responding and when I should maybe be uh, looking at selling that grain. Uh, tar charting is, and it's an analogy, it's been used lots. Uh, without charts, it's like going on a road trip without a map. You know, where are we? But once you see it on that chart, it gives you such a visual picture. Okay, this market is heading lower, heading higher but that's just the simplistic part of it it's it's the signs that the charts show you that tell you okay I need to be thinking about doing this right now or that right now that I just don't have any expertise in and I'm not about to take the time to do it when there's people like this with that training that I I believe in a collaborative support I don't have to know all the answers as an individual but if I can surround myself with the right people wow that that for me works you know, on the farm you're just always so busy so focused on production and, and probably, at least I'll speak for myself, I'm not a strong marketer. And so to look to Ag Chief to help me make some of those timing decisions in selling grain, have I followed them always? No, have I wished I followed more? Yes, but you learn as you go. Being able to call in um, just very freely in a way and, and confidently that I need to know something. I can just call one of that team today and uh, I'll hear about, okay, so why is the market going down like it is right now or up like it is? I'll, I'll call Richard or Ed or, or David and uh, just say, okay, what's going on? Technically, what do we look at? Where, you know, where is, where is support for this? What do we got to watch out for? And what signs are developing? I chose Ag Chief because I would see David at presentations over the years. I liked his approach. It seemed pretty, what you see is what you get, pretty basic, straightforward. I could tell his passion for charting from what he did from a very young age regarding charting. And, and I think as a farmer, you get too close to your business, too emotional, and, and you do too much on fundamentals. So to bring something like charting in is important. And I just liked David's approach and we joined Ag Chief. I would sincerely recommend Ag Chief to any producer without a bit of reservation. I've used them a number of years. Um, it's just about the information, about the people, about the, the platform the company kind of operates under that makes it so, if you want to use the word, user-friendly and, uh, and uh, just a great asset to our business and marketing grain. I think it's such a producer focused business. It's not about buying and selling and trading futures. Uh, it may give recommendations regarding that as far as hedging goes, etc. But it's just uh, the knowledge there, uh, the people. It, it's not as in so many other businesses about brick and mortar. It's about the people and the relationship I found you quite quickly develop with that team and uh, just the approach they take, it, it doesn't tie you up, you're free. I pay my, my, my service fee, whatever you'd like to call it for the season, and wow, I, I, I'm just free to call and get some advice from them whenever I need.